What's up guys, Rocketman117 Gaming here with another addition to our Doom Eternal gameplay series. In this video I'll be going through all the demons with the exception of the weaker fodder demons and talking through what strategies I use to get them out of my way as efficiently as possible. So without further ado, let's get right to the video. First up is the Maker Drone, the strongest of the fodder demons, which are the lowest class of demon uh, difficulties. All you gotta do is get one headshot with the precision bolt rifle and you're golden. You'll receive a ton of loot, um, health, and ammo, but because of their swift reflexes and fast move speed, it can be a little difficult to hit them in the head, so, or maybe I'm just bad. First try. Next up on our list is the Arachnatron. What I recommend for taking out this guy real fast is three shots with the sticky grenade, one to the turret for sure, followed up by a full mag of micro missiles. That'll get him out of the way nice and quick for you. No matter what, be sure you hit one sticky bomb on the turret, because shots from that turret hurt you very fast. Furthermore, avoid getting too close to him. His melee attack will decimate your health in a heartbeat. So that's how I recommend taking out the Arachnotron. Next up in our list is the Cacodemon. These guys aren't so tough, really. All you gotta do is hit one sticky grenade into the mouth, and they're already staggered up for a gory kill. Really, all you need to watch out for these guys is making sure they don't get too close. If they bite you with their mouths, yes, it will take a huge chunk out of your health, and obviously we do not want that to happen. Anyway, moving on. Next up in the list is the carcass. All you gotta do to take down these guys is get three sticky grenades anywhere on their body and they'll be either ready for a glory kill like this one, or they'll already be dead. Really the only attack you need to worry about is the circles coming out of their chest just like you saw there. Those are really the only thing that they can do to hurt you, otherwise they just get in the way with their force fields, like that blue one you saw at the top. Next opponent is the Cyber Mancubus. These guys really aren't so tough when you know how to go about taking them out. First you want to go up with a blood punch, then hit him with a lock-on burst from the rocket launcher. It takes three rockets, and that's exactly how many the lock-on burst fires at once. That way you don't end up wasting rockets like I just did right there. You need to watch out for the attacks coming from the cannons. Wherever the bullet hits, the ground around it becomes toxic, as you'll see in this next clip. Oh yes, the Dread Knight. All you gotta do for this guy is exactly what the game tells you to. Pick up that chain gun and rail him. I prefer the mobile turret because it just has more firepower and takes him out nice and quick for me. Watch out for that slam attack. It electrifies the ground, making it take away your health if you stand in. But otherwise, he's not so tough. Just make sure you don't get in the way of those swords as he's swinging them around. Entering the arena next, the Hell Knight. Very similar in attack style to the Dread Knight, but without all the electricity and swords and stuff. This guy's very easy to take down. All you need to pick up is the laser rifle with the heat blast mod attached to it. Use the heat blast to interrupt his attack no matter what attack he's doing. Boom. Interrupted. He's done. Speaking of Cyber Mangubi, meet the regular Mancubus. First, you want to take out those flamethrowers with the sticky grenades as fast as possible. Then, after you finish taking out the hands with the sticky grenades, switch over to your lock-on burst. That'll take them out in an instant for you. See? Not so tough, huh? Next up, the Pain Train! Oh, Pain Elemental. Oh, my bad. 
Anyway, what you want to use on this guy is two shots from the Arbalest, the charge up mod on the Ballista. Then just one regular shot from the Ballista. Piece of cake. Now for a combo, the Spectre and the Pinky, since they're basically the same enemy. There are two ways you can go about taking this guy out. First, you can get the super shotgun to the tail, boom, done. Next is my favorite way, the blood punch. Nice and easy, nice and quick. Next on our list is the Prowler. These guys are quick, so you gotta be on your toes. Dash is your friend. But really, all you need to get these guys out is two shots with a sticky grenade, and they're either glory kill ready, or they're just dead. Nice and easy. Ah, uh, a classic. The Revenant. I got three words for you. Well, three sticky grenades, that is. And he's either ready for a glory kill, or he's already dead. And that's all she wrote. You can also use this even faster tactic. I call it hook, line, and sinker. Next up is the whiplash. Jump and dash, my friends, because their whip attack will knock you off your feet. But no worries. A quick missile lock from the rocket launcher will take him out in a breeze. Or you can use a full mag of micro missiles and it'll do the job just as easy. Next up is my least favorite demon, the Archfile. He summons new demons and boosts the stats of all present demons. I usually go for a blood punch on the shield and then full auto shotgun as much as I can. Other than that, just hit him with whatever you got and knock him down fast as possible. And quick side note, watch out for that ground flame he just almost nailed me with. Next up is another joy to fight, the Baron of Hell. I really have no set strategy for the Baron of Hell right now. Just hit him with whatever you got. If it's big and powerful, throw it at him. Preferably before he throws himself at you. Be sure to watch out for that slam attack. I think this next one is actually my favorite to fight, the Doom Hunter. I've got this on lockdown. Plasma rifle to his force field, that way you can damage him. Switch over to your minigun, mobile turret mode, and knock off the jet underneath him. Then switch to your lock-on burst or your rocket launcher, and boom, he's done. Works every time. Next up is the dreaded Marauder. Bob and weave is what I say, folks. Use the dash to dodge the red flame from his axe. Then, when his eyes turn green, hit him with that super shotgun. As always, green does mean go. Last but most certainly not least is the Tyrant, the biggest and baddest of all the non-boss demons. There really is no set strategy for taking this guy out. So like I said with the Baron of Hell, if it's big and powerful, throw it at him. Watch out for the circles on the ground because that's where his aerial missile attacks are coming down. Also watch out for the charge up rifle on his left hand, that's very bad for your health. Lastly avoid getting too close to him, his melee attack is quite powerful. So 
that was my video on how to take down all the demons in Doom Eternal. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more amazing content like this. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.